Yeah, this is a uh, Seaver Electronics, and it measures multiple water quality parameters. So, with Kurt Schornauer, they will lower that through the water column on a, at a constant rate, and it'll uh, collect data as it falls through the water. And so, it'll record all the, uh, it'll store all the information in the Seaver, and it'll download it to the laptop which is on the boat. And then using that information, we decide where we're going to collect water quality samples. The, the, uh, the idea is to collect a sample at a certain uh, specific depth, a water sample, a water quality sample. And so we lower it to that depth, whether it's two meters or whatever, uh, the, the bottle has got this cork in it, and, and uh, the cork is attached by the fishing line to this fishing pole that you see here. The, uh, so when we get to the depth we want to be at, we give a yank on the, uh, on the fishing pole, and that pulls the cork out, and, and the, the, uh, the bottle starts to fill. And the fishing pole here is just used to reel in the, uh, uh, the, the cork. Um, now, uh, we wait until the, uh, the air bubbles appear on the surface because, uh, because that, that tells us that the water bottle is filling, and when we see that the air bubbles have stopped coming up, it means the bottle is full. And so then we, uh, we draw it out and, uh, and we have our sample, which goes collected at that specific depth in the lake. And so then we can do our water quality uh, measurements for the water at that depth. All right, well, the first thing that's gonna happen here is pH and conductivity. It needs to be done as soon as the sample is collected or as soon as feasible after collecting the sample. Uh, pH uh, and water temperature are both uh, change with time. So therefore, they need to be made as soon as possible. So why do you uh, filter the, the water? Uh, we filter the water to, uh, to remove the particulates. If we didn't do that, the particulates would, uh, would dominate the, the chemistry of the water and we wouldn't really know what's dissolved in the water. The, uh, the metal samples need to be preserved with nitric acid, and so all of the samples will get four doses, or about two mils. The, uh, the two metal samples are now preserved and ready for analysis, and the second is mercury. Now, the mercury is a concentrated solution of nitric acid and potassium dichromate, and uh, mercury being volatile, we need to to fix it. Once a mercury sample has been dosed in this way, uh, it is stable for a long time, meaning months. The samples are filtered, uh, after they're filtered, we're, we're sampling, this particular sampling is for um, all the inorganic um, elements that you can think of. We actually analyze for uh, pretty close to 60 different elements and not all of them are uh, above detection and not all of them are of importance for um, human health, but, uh, but there are a number of them. Luckily, values tend to be pretty low in Lake Powell.